you on El Paso's east side. Family Bounce Nights are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 8. In addition to those tickets, you also get a coupon worth $100 towards a Bounce You birthday party. Fourth caller right now at 496-4511 wins it. Good luck. Joining us now is Jimmy Portillo. Now, he's written a comic book novel based on the real-life murders of women in Juarez. It's a book that's won a prestigious national grant. Welcome. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Um, tell us a little bit about what this novel concerns. It's called Gabriel. Yes, ma'am. And it's based actually on real-life events, but you've taken kind of a fictional twist on it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Gabriel is a vampire graphic novel that's, that takes place in El Paso and Juarez. And it takes, and it has to do with the women being murdered over there in Juarez. And the twist I put to it is that it's a vampire that's killing the women over there. Mm -hmm. So while the authorities are trying to nab the killer, Gabriel's getting away with everything. Wow. So it just makes things much more difficult. What inspired you to to write a to write a comic novel about this? Well, what happened? Well, I was uh, traveling around the United States. A lot of people didn't know about what was going on. Mm -hmm. So I told myself, you know, I should write a story about this and add a vampire twist to it. I like horror myself, so uh -huh. this is why I decided to do it. Well, tell us about the grant that you won. It's a $5,000 grant from Zero Foundation. It was founded by Peter A. Laird, co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh -huh. And he gives out, their foundation gives out two awards uh, every year. Uh -huh. And they pretty much give it out to anyone who's self-published in a comic book, who's having a hard time making it, uh, making it to the to the big time uh, companies like Marvel or DC. Right. How long have you actually been illustrating comics? Actually, this is my first comic book. Really? Yeah. You just decided to do it and won this major award? Actually, I was working at the U.S. State Department as a security officer, and then I was just like, you know what? I got to finish my book. So I uh -huh. quit my job and put my hand on it. I think that's something a, a lot of people dream about doing. They're, you know, they're, they're doing something and they always think about writing a great American novel or. or painting a famous painting or doing something like that and achieve their life's dreams and you've done it. Well, you have to take a risk mm -hmm. to do to accomplish your goals because if, if you don't even try or anything like that, you're not going to get anywhere. So I took that huge risk and right now it's paying off slowly but surely. That is just amazing. Now you are self-published but it is available at several comic book stores around mm -hmm. town. I believe we have the information we can put up on the screen here, it's available at so All Star Comics, Rebels Comics, Time Capsule, or IndiePlanet.com. And you said you also have uh, some uh, copies of it yourself. You can sell. And that is your email address. You didn't mind me putting that up, you said. Well, that's fine. <laughs> and also at your uh, MySpace account, there you can see on the screen. And copies are fifteen dollars each. That is amazing. Thank you very Congratulations much. Congratulations to you, and good luck in the future. Thank you for the invite. Appreciate it. All right. Kind of KBC 4 News continues with a final look at the forecast. Scott will be back in a few moments. Plus, a donkey does jail time. That's not a joke. The story's next. Stay with us.